Hi everyone, this is your girl USF Chick 85, and today I'll be doing a Dollar Tree haul. Yay, yay, yay for Dollar Tree. We all love Dollar Tree. Um, so I swung by there last night. I actually went to two different locations. The first one is where I got majority of my items, but the second Dollar Tree I went hoping that they would have another um, or more variety of baskets because I'm in the middle of doing a um, organization project under my um, sink in my bathroom in my kitchen so I was hoping to find different colors but unfortunately I wasn't able to um, to get the colors that I wanted so I'm thinking maybe if I wait closer to March that they'll have the colors that I'm looking for so either way I did pick up items from both Dollar Trees let's go ahead and get everything started I think I spent a total of 60 yeah, I'll say about $60 in Dollar Tree last night, and I think that's the most I've ever spent. So, let's go ahead and get everything started. Um, I actually plan to go back to Dollar Tree. Um, probably today or tomorrow, because I saw a couple of items at um, the first location that I went to, which is not my normal Dollar Tree. But I saw a couple of items that I actually have coupons for, and it's like save... 50 cent or 60 cent it's like for example I have coupons for palm olive dish detergent they had that and I have a coupon that says save 60 cents so I'll be you know paying 40 cent for that from Dollar Tree um, there's this um, Purex I guess it's like Purex um, freshener beads or freshener powder it's like um, it's to make your, your clothes smell very good um, after, when you wash them, so I actually um, got that, and it says a dollar, a dollar or a dollar fifty off. So either way, I have quite a few coupons, and I saw that they had the same products at Dollar Tree. So I'm basically gonna walk out with a lot of stuff for a little to nothing. But um, at the first location, I just picked up a couple of household items. Um, needed some pot scrapers, so got that. And their um their coffee spoons to help you when you scoop your coffee out of the big canister, and um, it's two in a pack, black and white. But I'm actually going to use it to put in my canister for my sugar and my rice, so that way I can just scoop it out. Maybe I should I probably should have picked up one that's a little bit bigger, but either way, this should do. To put a couple scoops of rice in the pot when I'm cooking, or um, sugar when I'm baking, or whatever it is that I need. So pick that up. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my last Dollar Tree video. I picked up some Zatarain's, oh, there it is, Zatarain's Dirty Rice. Um, I picked up two packs last time, and I went ahead and grabbed one more um, pack, but they also had Jambalaya Mix, so I got three packs of those. And all I'm going to do is just get some beef sausage or some turkey sausage because I don't eat pork um, to put in there and probably some shrimp and that's a meal um, by itself. So in total I got four. And also the last time I picked up some Taster's Choice um, single um, coffee packets. It's six that come in a box. And I picked up the regular. This one I actually got is decaf. And I picked it up for my grandmother because she drinks only decaf coffee. So I got her a box of that. And I thought it was just so cute. The little miniature um, creamer by Coffee Mate. So I'm actually going to put this in the gift basket that I make for my team. Um, so that's going to go in there with the other taster's choice that I had that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, earlier this month so and then I saw they had the peanut butter cookies so there are six packs in here and it's four cookies in each pack so I got those I'm gonna put those in a little um, the consolation prizes for the the two people that didn't, don't win the big prize for my job so I got that as well 
and I actually have a diaper cake order that I have to make so um, the colors that they requested was lavender and silver I think it is so she said that she wanted some baby wash but um, she has a lot of Johnson & Johnson products so she didn't really care about you know exactly what she you know as far as the um, the items that's on the cake so I went ahead and just grabbed this out of Dollar Tree it's actually a pretty good brand I used it for my goddaughter so I got um, the Sesame Street baby shampoo and it's lavender so it's gonna match the diaper cake I actually got another one but I think it's the lotion it's in another bag but pick that up and they had two red baskets um, this one has the little handles on it and I'm gonna use this for the basket for January and then because of the holidays and everything was so crazy at work we were only able to um, to get to our November basket so I also picked up another basket and it looks more like a little tub and that's for our December basket that I have to make. So I actually have to make two of them. And picked up another canister. I'm probably going to put, um, I have one for jasmine rice. I'm going to actually um, use this one for my yellow rice. So I got that and it matches. I was only looking for this um, for blue. So. Then when I make my diaper cakes, I actually put them on a tray so I always buy a tray um, from Dollar Tree I actually need to buy some in bulk um, I'll probably do that um, next month that's when you know I come across a lot of money so like income taxes or whatever and take a hundred dollars and devote um, strictly to just the diaper cakes and I'll buy those in bulk and have them on the side so they're ready because I normally um, get a lot of orders in March and April um, like the spring months and then inside the basket for my job for um, the January basket, it's going to be a Valentine's Day theme. So that way, whoever wins it can use it for uh, Valentine's Day. So I bought this. I thought this was really cute. They also had this in pink as well. And uh, depending on your, your Dollar Tree, I think this may actually be the smaller one. They have one that's a little bit bigger than this. Or this may be the larger one. It's like a little bit shorter. Either way, um, they do have two sizes in this. I love these little bags they had quite a few of them um, that's like Valentine's theme this one says um, always and forever hugs and kisses XOXO be mine love and it has a lot of cute little decorations they had a, quite a few different designs I can't think of what the other ones were but I really like this one you know they had one that had like pink handles and one that had um, red handles that was mostly red so I got this because I had like the little purple handles so that's really cute and then I also came across this one as well and this is um, last year I actually came across a little notepad that had the same color on the front with the same design and everything and that actually matches this if I could find it I'll show you guys a picture of it it was mentioned in one of my previous hauls and I'm sure you guys are a lot of this stuff that I went to Dollar Tree and got um, last night is actually for the gift bas basket for my job so they didn't have any more paper, so they just wrapped the, the they wrapped everything up in plastic bags. So if you remember, I bought um, dish towels that match the mugs. So this will go in there with the coffee, the dish towel, and the creamer. So I bought two of those little mugs. Sorry if it's moving. Okay, and here's the other. Um, I said I have the purple one. It's Sesame Street Nighttime Lotion. It's Calming Lavender Scent. So I picked that up. And that's going to go on the diaper cake as well. 
and I bought a jar of minced garlic. I was running low, so I need, need that. And I make a lot of homemade enchiladas. Normally, I would pay $1.99 for Old El Paso's um, enchilada sauce, but they actually had it at Dollar Tree. So I actually brought three um, cans of that. I make a lot of enchiladas in my house, so my boyfriend loves them. And I make them from scratch, too. Oops. And then also, I remember I said I'm doing a, um organization um, thing in my bathroom, in my kitchen. So I bought these baskets. I actually bought four of them in this blue. They're pretty big. So, um, and they're the ones that um, interlock. So let me show you. One thing you do is get the, if I can get it apart, I guess that's the reason why they put the styrofoam in there so they don't get stuck. Okay. And so then you do, you see right here, that's where you will turn your basket. So you just turn it this way, put it on top. And they interlock. I don't know if you guys could see that. So that way you're able to have them. And see if you turn around the right way, then they just drop in. Pull it out. Stack them. There you go. So that will go under my sink in my bathroom and my kitchen. Like I said, I bought four. And I'll probably do a video showing you guys um, some of my ideas on how I'm going to organize under um, the sink in the bathroom in the kitchen. And I had oven mitts for my kitchen. My kitchen is black and silver. But they kind of got messed up last year, so I just threw them away um, after trying to wash them and food is spilled on them. And then, you know my boyfriend used them on the grill and one of them got burnt so I bought two of those in black they have them in all different colors and designs they had some that actually match um, these glass or these mugs I just didn't pick them up so I got that and then also for the basket for my job I came across these so pretty and they're hard plastic so cute little wine glasses and they have hearts on them so I got two of those I don't know what me and my boyfriend are doing yet for Valentine's Day um, I have a few things planned for his birthday which is literally seven days later so I can't really talk too loud about my birthday plans for him because he's in the other room and I don't want him to be awake and hear anything so. But I um, also picked up a couple of cards. Um, I always get one from my mom and my grandmother every year for Valentine's Day. And this one's for my grandma. And it says, thinking of you, grandmother. Because Valentines are made for special people just like you. Happy Valentine's Day. And these were two for a dollar. Remember, they also have um, another section of cards where they're a dollar each. Normally, those say a little bit more than the 50 cent cards, but you're still able to find some very nice cards um, from two for a dollar section. And this one says, Mother, life sometimes gets so busy that I don't always take the time to say what's in my heart. Like how much you mean to me and how very much I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Back. 
And I got this from one of my friends. I'm going to send it to her in the mail. And it says, I didn't write this Valentine and I didn't draw the art. But I put all the love inside. So that's the important part. Happy Valentine's Day, XOXO. Or hugs and kisses, whatever you want to say. Oh, and don't forget, um, you guys, to check out my um, my Julep Maven, Maven unboxing. I actually got my box, I think, a couple days ago, but I always get it sent to my mom's house, so I went and picked it up today. So I'll be doing that video after I finish this one. And remember, I have a thing for ink pens, so I actually got this. It's four um, ballpoint pens. I thought they were very cute. It has little sayings on it, like study prize right I don't know I can't really see it so let me just open it and I'll show you what, what they look like okay it says study at the top Compose, write down, study, prize, memorize, scribble. So it has like little sayings on it. It's very cute. And it writes pretty well. And it's black ink too. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but yeah, it's black ink. I love pens. I'm one of those people that if I'm at a, it's so bad to say this, but if I'm at a restaurant and the waiter or the waitress has a very nice ink pen, um, a lot of times I'll ask them if I can keep their pen. And sometimes they actually tell me, every once in a while I will kind of walk out with the pen by mistake, but um, I have a thing for ink pens. I love ink pens. So um, I did come across a couple of um, Eyeshadows. Normally, I'll try to get like nail products from Dollar Tree, but I came across um, some Milani products, and I think I may have seen um, one other person. She hauled these. Um, I think it's Makeup Room Diva. She picked up a couple of colors, but I can't remember if they're the same ones. But the first time I ever heard about Milani was my ex-boyfriend's mom told me about it and she bought me some eye pencils that she got for like the low from CVS. She had coupons and so ever since then I kind of liked Milani because it's one of those things you see in Walgreens or CVS. Very good quality for a low price. But the eyeshadow that I have here, it's like this purple eyeshadow. It's like a little purple with some shimmer. Yeah, it's kind of shimmery. Hope oh, this video isn't too long for you guys. Let's see. This is number 13, Aubergine. And I probably should have prepped this before of doing this on here with you guys taking forever oh that is so pretty that's very pretty and it's like a purple you can see the sparkle the shimmer in it I like that so that's aubergine and that's again that's number 13 and then I bought another Milani eyeshadow and this is this is a baked eyeshadow and this one was a runway eyes so I don't know if there's like a huge difference I have to test it out see oops and this one is number 610 medley and this is a marbleized baked eyeshadow and it says use wet to intensify or dry for a softer look. So, if you. Let's see. 
hope my TV isn't too loud. I'm watching House Hunters. But that is so pretty. Like the marble eyes. It does like a marble. Or like a um a jawbreaker, like with all the swirls and the dots and stuff in it. And oh that's pretty. I don't know if you can see the, the shimmer and the sparkles in that as well, but. Still that is so pretty. Yeah, they're right. And if you apply it dry, it is a softer look. So. Oh, another thing, too, is that um, Dollar Tree had, for the people that love to wear glitter eyeshadow, check out your um your local dollar tree because they had elf um eyeshadow primer but it's specifically for um glitter eyeshadow if i go back today and they have some i'll take a picture of it because i really don't wear glitter eyeshadow i think i told you guys i try to stay as natural as possible i only wear like makeup for special occasions so but um i've been looking for just regular um, primer for like just basic eyeshadow not like glitter or anything like that so hopefully I'll come across them at Dollar Tree or if not I'll just suck it up and go to Walgreens or CVS or Walmart to buy some but um this right here is um I bought this it's elf and it's the eyeshadow and it's called teal dream and it's like it's a nude this one looks like it may be like a a grayish beige and like two shades of green uh, that's the first color which is this one this one that's this one right there. Oh, wow. That's good. That's this one. And then this one right here. So those are the... Oh, I didn't do that one. So yeah, those are very pretty, very pigmented, so that's good. That's one of the things I've always um, been kind of afraid of is getting stuff or like makeup um, and eyeshadow and lipstick from the Dollar Tree. Either A, that it will break me out and then I, it'll just be a waste, or B, that it's like some cheap crap that... I would have to put like a crap lo load of it on in order for it to look decent or that um, I put it on and it just comes off, you know, like cheap stuff. I don't want that. Oh, sorry. I have two more bags and they're kind of way over here. Okay. And so my last two bags from Dollar Tree. Um, I bought two packs of rose petals. They've always had rose petals at Dollar Tree. Um, red, pink, and white. So I bought some red ones that goes inside the basket for my job. And it's 300 in a pack. These are good for weddings or, you know, especially for Valentine's Day. You want to be romantic, but you don't want the mess. You can clean them up and reuse them. Perfect. And then they also had chocolates. I got two of those. This is also going in the basket. And... I bought these to light my candles, the, um, the big... Um, lighters um, my boyfriend goes through lighters like the packs of them I don't know like they just magically grow legs and they walk away but we go through a lot of um, lighters 
um, people come over, they use them and, you know, things like that. So, I bought those and I normally just use them for candles and I try to hide them so no one uses them. I actually bought two the last time I went to Dollar Tree and one of them magically disappeared as well. So, I had to open up a other, the other one. I almost saw that one walk out. So, I almost took it with them. Can you believe this big old thing? They almost took it with them. How do you walk out someone's house with a big old lighter like this? This is ridiculous. So... Either way. And then I also bought the um, tea lights at 16 in a pack. I remember like back in the day, like Dollar Tree had this huge bag of tea lights. And it had like 50 or 60 something tea lights in them. And I remember I bought a crap load of them. They don't sell them that big anymore. So got that. That's also going in the basket as well. And for myself, I saw this um, St. Patty's Day scarf. They had one for Valentine's Day, but it was pink, and eh, I don't, not really a fan of pink like that, but hopefully if I come across a red one, then I'll buy that one, but um, it has like little clovers and stuff on it. It's dark green, like this little lime yellowish color, and then white. They actually had three different designs for the scarves. And you know what's crazy that I actually bought myself a scarf for Christmas and forgot to wear it. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll, 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 I'm pretty sure I'll remember to wear that one. And I got a dish towel. Yeah. Um, the last one that I bought was microfiber. This one's more, what's it called? Terry, call, terry cloth or something like that. But, yeah. Dollar matches my kitchen. I try to make sure I buy new ones every so often. And um, I have the 12 count of favorite boxes. There's 12 people on my team at work, and I'm actually going to make them little um, little bags for, for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to, you know, build these up and then put little designs and stuff. And I'll probably do a DIY video on what I'm going to do for them for Valentine's Day. And I came across, they had um, Quaker Instant Oatmeal. This is maple and brown sugar. Now I'm going to take these with me to work, keep them at my desk so in the mornings. I'll have some breakfast instead of stopping by to get something to eat. I'm trying to curve um, what I eat in the mornings because within the last year, I've gained over 20 to 25 pounds. So I want to try to get that weight off of me because I've never been this big in my life. So... Yeah, so I just bought two of those, and we'll see um, how that turns out. And then I bought a pack of pacifiers um, for the diaper cake because it has the purple. And then again, I bought some of these the last time, and these are what I put in... Um, the little prizes in for the const the constellation prizes for my job, so I do two a month, and they last me for a few months. So, got that. And this is another thing I need to buy from Dollar Tree in bulk. Um, the decorative shred, I got it in white. I actually got two packs in white. A pack in red and I have a pack in pink now I normally use this to, to put the shred inside the um, gift baskets also if someone orders a gift basket I put that in there as well um, and also sometimes I put the decorative shred on my diaper cakes so you know guys know I do sell diaper cakes on the side so my little side hustle so I try to make sure I keep a lot of that. Um, I thought these were so cute. Chalkboard gift tags. I've actually been looking all over for them. So there's six in the pack. There's two that's silver and there's two that um, has the gold border. And it comes with a little piece of chalk in there. So I'm actually um, thinking about putting this on the front of my, my basket. That's going to go in the, um, under the sink in my bathroom and in my kitchen. And I'll probably just get some string and tie it around in the holes. But this part right here, there's already a hole in the middle. So I'll use that to hang that in one hole. 
and then I may put with my little hole puncher put a hole on each end right there and just have it hanging that's something I'm thinking about I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it but got that I may go back and buy a couple more packs of those I don't know how long they're gonna be there and then um, what I put my my diaper cakes in and my gift bags I buy the basket bags Oh, not my gift bags, my gift baskets. And it only comes two in a pack. The last time I picked up a two pack, it was only one in there. I don't know. I, I wasn't too pleased about that, but. And I got two of those. And then the very last thing for this Dollar Tree haul is um, this hamburger patty press. I thought it was really cool. Um, it. They were at the very top, so the lady had to get them down for me. But every one that she pulled down was actually opened like that. So I just took it. It didn't hit the ground or anything. But normally when I make my burgers, I put cheese in them. So when they cook on the grill or on my griddle, then the cheese melts. Um, and when you bite into it, you have the ooziness from the cheese. That comes out so yeah just I gotta wash this but obviously but that's how it looks you just put your meat in there whatever and you get this and you press it and you make your little perfect burgers another trick too is if you put your burgers on the grill if you get your thumb and you um, press put like a little indentation in the middle of your burger it actually prevents your burgers from shrinking. Whether you put them on the grill, the frying pan, the oven, the griddle, whatever it is that you choose or how you choose to cook your burgers. Get your finger, um, put a little indentation in the middle of your thumb, whatever floats your boat. Not, Don't push it all the way down to the bottom, just a slight indentation. Believe me, I tried it for the first time. Very happy at the fact that my burgers actually were pretty, you know, they still... They shrunk a little bit because it's ground beef, but not as much as they normally would have. So I actually got that from, I think it was like during the summertime, Publix. I don't know if you guys have a Publix in your area, but Publix had a commercial on how to grill and like little barbecuing tips. And I remember that, used it, very happy, never knew it. So um, either way, that's pretty much it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um for today I have to go back because I'm going to be decorating my um my section for Valentine's Day so they have a lot a lot a lot of Valentine's decorations that I love so I'll definitely be going back to do that and I'll show you guys what I get from there but that's pretty much it I'm going to go ahead and put all my stuff away and I um thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day love you bye